all day. What's up, y'all? It's Beats Me Up here, you know what I'm saying? Distortion Aesthetic. Finally got, you know what I'm saying? The stoles of mischief in the house. You know what I'm, I'm going to let them introduce themselves real quick. Hieroglyphics Massive, East Oakland, California. Opio Lindsay represents Souls of Mischief, man. What it do? Yeah, yeah, A+. Plus. Souls of Mischief, Hieroglyphics, baby. All day. Hey, yo, what's up? This is Taj from the Mighty Souls of Mischief crew. Festo D in your face, baby. Yeah, that's what's up, you know what I'm saying? So we finally got y'all here. Finally got y'all on the show, you know what I'm saying? We got y'all separately on many occasions, you know what I'm saying? We finally got y'all here together. So, uh, you know me, y'all been doing a lot of stuff for a minute. So give them a quick little rundown, you know what I mean, what y'all been doing, the albums or whatnot. Yeah, man, hey, this OPO represents Souls of Mischief, Hieroglyphic True, you know what I'm saying? We we coming up on 2008. I know we in 2007 right now, but next year we going to our 10th year anniversary, hieroglyphics.com, man. Go to the website, people side. We've been doing this for a long time. We represent the Bay East Oakland to be exact, you know what I'm saying? But Bay Love everywhere around, you know what I'm saying? So it's, this is how we get down. Independent, you know what I mean? Showing y'all how we, how to really get money, you know what I mean? Ownership, that's the first and foremost, you feel me? So that's how we get down, man. That's what's up. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Ownership. Ten years ownership. You know what I mean? Y'all don't need no help from no labels. Y'all doing this. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. So let them, let them know how important that is. You know what I mean? People might not know how important that is in the game nowadays. Well, um, for us, it's like, uh, well, you know, the game changes a whole lot. And, and, you know, what's marketable by big companies at any given time can change and shift. But, you know, if you do a certain genre of music and you still want to be able to have it out there, but, you know, the popular means are no longer in tune with how you do it, being independent is always an option and you know we've been doing it for a minute now we saw other people doing doing it growing up and then, you know if you still have an audience which we always have had it's your way to do it without having to go through the means and say you know we ain't gonna do it for you no more and the flip side of that is that you make more bread like way way more bread and you get and you get to c control everything you're doing so you know you know I, I, we ain't against big deals or nothing because that's how we got on by signing with with jive and so it really depends on what you want to do with it. But for us, it's been the way we've been able to do it and still, still be gooted out, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and still be able to do whatever we want to do, you know. That's what's up. So y'all took the deal from Jive, you know what I mean? Flipped it, got your name out there. Y'all doing your own thing now, independent. That's what's up, you know what I mean? Y'all been all over the world. So why don't y'all touch on that on the live shows and, like, where y'all been so far? Man, we've been all over the planet, man, from, uh, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the pineapple to the big apple, <laughs> on over to, you know what I'm saying, uh, Japan, just came back from Europe, you know, we rocked everywhere but Antarctica and the Arctic pretty much, man. Hip-hop is a global thing, man. Everybody who's thinking about the, being the best in their city or even the best in their state or even the best in their country is thinking small, man. Hip-hop is global. In fact, when you go overseas, you see graffiti billboards. You listen to the commercials, they got hip-hop beats in the commercials. You know, you be on... The, the mainstream radio and mainstream shows, straight hip hop from 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 here, from underground to overground, they love it, man. So it's just been a blessing that we've been able to travel. But we're from the old school in, in that we believe that hip hop is a performance art, man. You can't just be dope on record. You got to be dope live. If you're not dope live, you whack. And I, I solemnly believe in that right there. So we always try to give everybody a good show and, and really kill it, man, so that everybody leaves with the real vibe of hip-hop. And that's positivity and building and, you know, sweating and, and, and breaking down your troubles and all that, man. So we always try to represent that hieroglyphics. And that's hip-hop in general, for real, worldwide. We, we do that world thing at least once a year, man, when people be like, what y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that, you know, y'all could know that, you know, we doing our thing, man, because... Yo, man, y'all got to make it to Brazil, man. It's like Vegas, but a little even bigger than that. Like, you know, what goes on in Brazil, man, that shit got to stay in Brazil, you feel? Nah, oh, but you know what I'm saying? Man. Now, on the real, man, like, you know, you could get around, be, you know, t take the pride of your region, where wherever it may be, and, and, and think big-minded with it because people feel in all different genres of hip-hop everywhere. It, I mean, it's literally all over the globe. It's people feeling every single kind of hip-hop. It ain't tripping like people out here tripping like, I only listen to this, I only listen to that. Like, that's real, that ain't. Like, you know what I'm saying? That, that yeah. shit, man. 
I mean, we walked into the club in Norway. First thing they threw on was feeling myself, Mac Dre. You feel what I'm saying? They was going dumb in Norway, where they ride around in big ice ships and wear furry boots. <laughs> going dumb, though. For real. You got to understand, man, this is a global thing, and it's all genres, you know? So, you know what I'm saying? The Souls of Mischief. That's your name. The Souls yeah. of Mischief. Yeah. Souls. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got that energy. I mean, y'all was up there giving them the energy and shit, and y'all still a unit. Y'all been in there doing it for, like, 93 until until you know what i'm saying y'all didn't put a date on that and that's what's up you know what i mean so let them know about the unity y'all got as brothers and like holding it down like for real for real well you know hence the name the souls you know what i mean we it's, it's beyond the physical form man it's like it's a spiritual thing for us man we this is music something that that transcends just uh you know materialism or whatever you want to call it man we this something we all love and we all grew up doing this together and we a team man that's what a lot of people don't understand is like we ain't we, we epitomize what it means you know to be a group you know we're four different you know we're four individuals but at the same time we're really just one entity man we we the you know four four-headed monster right here man you know what i'm saying it's four different brains but when we come together it's one body and it's that's tough to deal with I mean, if I'm if I'm the opposition, I'm guy. I'm like, man, I'm going against you know, I'm going against some tough shit. It's some tough shit, Jack. <laughs> so that's what we mean by the souls, because it's it's not just you know, all, the way we have a, we a cohesive unit. And if you if you listen to the albums throughout the years, even though we changed as individuals. As a group, we really stayed the same because we we still fit like a you know we still fit like a puzzle, and we'll continue to do that. When on the new shit, you are gonna see, you are gonna say, damn, these motherfuckers, they really from the last shit to the next one. They different MCs. They they grew, but at the same time, as a group, they grew as a group, and 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 it's and it's it's evident when you when when the songs come together and when the album comes together, it's still one, four as one. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? So speaking on that new project, you know what I'm saying? What's up with the new project? You know what I mean? Y'all got a lot of projects coming out. So uh, speak on it real quick. Yeah, man. We, we stay in the lab. You know what I mean? We got A+. Plus, my last good deed coming out. You feel me? My man Fest Rock. You feel me? Doing his thing. The whole Souls of Mischief crew. Opio, Lindsey, Tajay Massey. We all be putting out solo projects. You know what I'm saying? But the next thing to come to you and hit y'all, A+. Plus. Yeah, y'all gotta check that. This is the A plus album. Of course, it's Souls Till Death, Hieroglyphics Compound for real. But this album that I'm doing that is coming out May first. Well, I don't even put no dates on it, man. But you just gotta go grab that. It's called My Last Good Deed, and it's A plus on it. If you know me at all, you know you know what it's about. If you don't know me, then you know check it out, and, and it's gonna be good to your ears, man. It's like you know, it's just like I ain't really trying to be all divisive with my. It's, it's yeah, it's slap. It's that dude right there. Yeah, that's that dude right there. And on the real, like you, you know, this you know we know distortion, static, and all that. So we want to give a shout out. We've personally watched the show, been watching it since the beginning. Want to give a shout out to y'all. Y'all like home turf. Y'all like home yeah, y'all the y'all the new home turf. Yeah, that's how. Yeah, for real. So shout out to y'all and everybody out in the bay. You know, y'all, you know, all the bay artists. We all good together. That's what's good about the bay. So shout out to all the artists. We listen to everything, man, and you know. And one love, you feel me? That's it. That's what it do. So, yeah. So, if they trying to contact you, if they don't know where already to find you at, let them know where the website is. Give them all that. Yeah, man. www.hieroglyphics.com. H-I-E-R-O-G-L-Y-P-H-I-C-S.com. Yeah, that I mean. You feel me? <laughs> And that's how it goes down, man. We've been doing this before Chrysler, before Ford, before Burberry, before all that, man. We was getting money on the Internet, you know what I'm saying? So hieroglyphics, man. We coming up on that 10th year anniversary, you know what I mean? Independent, 2008, and that's how we get down, man. You feel me? Real talk. Yeah, and that's what's up, you know what I'm saying? So check the interview, you know what I mean, the exclusive footage on distortionstatic.com. Hit them up on hieroglyphics.com and all that right there. And I'll check you later. Boy. All day.